Welcome everyone, I'm Lehman from Milgard Windows and Doors. Today, we're in our training facility to demonstrate how to install the AX450 moving glass wall with the stacking door operating style. This video is intended to show the common steps required to install the AX450, but please note that every install is unique and may require different or additional steps not shown in this video. As I mentioned, we are in our training facility, so there may be some steps missing if you're installing this in a home that leads to an exterior space. We'd also like to note that this video is not intended for the do-it-yourselfer. Installing the AX450 moving glass wall requires a team of professional installers. Now let's get started. Begin by unpacking the frame components. Each door will have a head track, threshold track, locking jam, and fixed jam assembly. Refer to the shop drawing supplied and inspect the rough opening carefully to ensure it has been prepared correctly to accept the configuration and size you're installing. Ensure the header is plumb to the sill. The floor must be protected with an appropriate flashing or waterproofing material prior to door installation. Check the floor to see that it is flat and level. If the floor varies more than 1 16th of an inch per foot or a total of a quarter of an inch over the entire width of the opening, it must be corrected before proceeding with the installation. There are two ways to assemble the frame. You can assemble it on the ground and install it as one big unit, or you can install each component separately as we shall demonstrate. Position the threshold on the floor in the approximate location and make sure the inside edge of the threshold is properly aligned with the structure. Mark where your weep holes are on the flashing. Mark the interior side of the threshold the entire length of the frame. Remove the threshold and finish marking where the weep holes are located. Apply a half inch wide by half inch high bead of sealant on the floor from jam to jam. Applying six inches up the jam, and from the inside corners across the end to the outside edge where the threshold will be. Make lines of sealant approximately 6 inches apart the entire length of the threshold. Be sure not to put any sealant where the weep holes will be. Lay your threshold back down into position. Remove the threshold covers and set them aside. You have the option to anchor the threshold to the floor using the supplied screws. If you choose this option, you want to install the screws approximately 3 inches from the weep hole system on the exterior and middle track. Then install the screw every 24 inches down the frame until you reach the next weep hole. Double check that your threshold is flat and level. If it is not, the door will not function properly. Using a quality sealant, butter the corner connection. Install the jam using the end plate as a guide. Measure for a true 90 degree angle and verify reveals at both jams. Fasten the sections together at the end plates using number eight one-fifth pan head screws at pre-drilled locations. Shim the jams as required to ensure that they will be plumb and anchor to the structure using number 10 two and a half inch flathead screws. Check to make sure the jams are even from the threshold to the header. Apply a bead of sealant at the corner connection of the header. Position the header at the top of the two jams and fasten together at the end plate using number 12 3 quarter inch and number 12 1 and 1 quarter inch flathead countersunk screws at pre-drilled locations. Check the height and make sure that it is even across the header. Shim as necessary and anchor to the structure using number 10 2 and a half inch flathead screws. Each panel will be marked with the unit number and panel letter lettered from left to right as viewed from the outside. 
First, we will locate the lead panel. If you're installing a door that is bi-parting, there will be two lead panels. The active panel, the one that contains the lock mechanism, will be installed first on the left side of the extreme inside track. If the door has only one lead panel, it will be installed on the extreme inside track of the appropriate side depending on the configuration of the door you're installing. From the outside of the building, with the bottom rail to the outside, lean the top of the panel in and insert it into the extreme interior head track and lower it onto the threshold. Using a medium-sized Phillips head screwdriver through the middle hole at the bottom of each style, adjust the rollers to achieve a dimension of approximately 3 eighths of an inch from the bottom of the style to the top surface of the threshold. Roll the panel towards the lock jam to view the vertical gap between the panel and jam. Make final roller adjustments so the gap is consistent from top to bottom. Next, locate the intermediate panel. From the outside of the building, with the portion of the panel overlapping the interlock of the lead panel, insert the top into the next head track and lower onto the threshold. Repeat the same process with the remaining panels. Temporarily adjust the rollers on the active panel so that they roll freely. Finally, we have the fixed panel. Position the adjacent rolling panel to allow the fixed panel to overlap it when the jam style of the fixed panel is within a few inches of the fixed jam. Insert the top of the fixed panel into the outside head channel and lower the bottom onto the surface of the threshold. Now we will adjust the strike plate on the lock jam by loosening the two machine screws and moving it up or down until the lock engages when fully actuated. Once the strike plate is fully adjusted, anchor it to the structure using a number 10 2.5 inch flathead screw through the countersunk center hole provided. To remove excess slack, open the sliding panel and adjust the lock using the slotted adjusting screw in the center of the lock. We are now ready to install the L-clip to the exterior side of the fixed panel. This will help keep the fixed panel in place. On the interior side of the fixed panel, you are going to drill three holes at the bottom, middle, and top of the fixed panel where it meets the frame. When drilling, you want to make sure you go through two walls, the frame and the first layer of the fixed panel. You'll also need to make sure the holes are countersunk. Install the supplied hardware to secure the fixed panel to the frame. Apply a thin layer of sealant along the bottom of the fixed panel where it meets the frame. Then apply sealant the entire length of the threshold on the interior side of the frame. It may also be necessary to fill any gaps between the frame and the structure. Locate the foam blocks and apply a dab of sealant to them. Then place them in the header where the fixed and intermediate panels meet when they are in the closed position. You're now ready to install the jam covers. Using a plastic bar and a mallet, lightly tap the jam covers into place. Finally, you want to finish sealing the frame to the opening.
and the installation of the AX450 moving glass wall is complete.